Good morning, I'm Polarized Moon, and welcome back to Squishy Craft Survival. So first off, we're gonna put another name up on the wall here. We have Jojo Swims, who wanted to be up on the wall here. So look at that, we got, we're getting a, we're getting a nice little staircase of names here. If you want to be put on the name, if you want your name put on the wall here, uh, post a comment in the comment section below, and I will definitely get to that, and I'll put you up on the wall, because... I like I like having I like having you guys inter I like I like having your guys' interaction and, and know, know what you guys want to see and such. All right, so we are continuing the build in this little room here. So I have the next set of uh, I have the next set of stuff here. So it looks like we're gonna have uh, three in the middle. And then everything else is gonna come off of that, so that'll be fun. Let's get this going, and here. So yeah, I don't know what it is, but I I I I build like I said before. I build this stuff. Uh, three. It's three and two. All right, so it's three, two, two. Okay, like that. So it, it I find I find building this kind of stuff just like. Kind of relaxing. I just sit here and while I'm waiting for my videos to render and my or videos to upload or whatever, you know, while I'm while I'm off doing other things, I just sit here and wait for the uh, I wait for things to go and you know I just sit here and, and do this. All right, so this is uh, from here and then the middle one like that. Okay, perfect. I think this is I think this is right. Uh, oh wait, whoops, I forgot to do that. Oopsies. Let's actually get this done. I don't want to have, uh, missing, <laughs> don't want to have missing pieces there. That would make it very hard to drain all the water out of the room if you've got missing pieces. Oh, that's right, I have the floor, I have the floor pieces here too. Let's, uh, let's fix that. So yeah, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish off this dome in this episode here. And then I'm also going to drain out the water, and I'm going to show you guys a couple of different ways that I drain it out, depending on, you know, whatever, if I've got extra time or extra resources. There's there's a couple of ways, and usually it always involves uh, sponges. So, there's that. Because uh, normally, it, I mean, if you wanted to build one of these domes in, like, a hole and then fill that hole with water, there's a couple of ways to do that, too. It's, uh... But I'm I'm actually just doing this under the ocean, so it's not gonna be not gonna be quite as easy as just saying, hey, this is gonna have water in here now. And Oh gosh dang it. I hate it when I do that. I do that all the time. I do have a better pickaxe too. I have like a super OP pickaxe. But I like to use the ones that I get from the the vote keys and stuff because why not? All right, here we go. That guy there. Uh, let's pull out some more of these and another one of these guys. Oh, seriously? What is it with me today? I can't get things on the right spot. All right, here we go. I can do this. This is this is me. All right, and stubushk. Okay, so it's two and one. Oh, that's pretty simple. Oh, wait. I'm gonna have to, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to add a, uh, add a thing somewhere so that I can, uh, get that middle one in there. Because there's nothing to build that off of, so I'm gonna have to do like that. Yep. That's what I'm gonna have to do. Wonderful. I mean, I don't know, there's, there isn't really another way to do that when you've got a, a piece that needs to be not actually touching anything else other than, like, a kitty corner deal here. Why is it called kitty corner? I never thought about that before. All right, there we go. I got those done. I am, I'm getting pretty close to being done with this dome. At least, uh, the building of the dome wise. And we'll see how much, uh, we'll see how, how quickly the episode goes and we'll see if I, I might drain it in the next episode and then, you know, figure out things from there. And yes, as far as I know, monsters can spawn in these if you don't have lights in them, um, because 
I was working down there, and a a uh, a slime spawned, which I thought was kind of cool. Okay, what's my next? What's my next one? Oh, here's where things start getting really interesting. This one literally is not touching. Uh, yeah, this <laughs> this one's literally not touching anything at all. So I'm gonna have to do that, and that's gonna be the basis for everything. Great. Okay, so it's what three? Oh, it's the same as the one before it. Okay, so it's that, and then great. Yep, that's that's gonna be how it is. Let's just stick these here so I have a an easier time with that, and then we have to do it in the on the edges too, because the edges aren't touching anything either. See, this is this is where the time-consuming part gets because you have to. Oh, I'm gonna need to go up for air. What? What? I wanna. <laughs> I, I, every time I go up to get air in this game, or any game for that matter, I imagine it being the sound from like uh, the old Sonic games when you go up for air. The what? Ah. Especially um, which which game was it? Especially Sonic CD. That one has a very a very distinct, um, a very distinct sound for the water, like, when you go get water. Alright, let's put these here, so that I can attach, what is it, it's, uh, that, yeah, uh, yeah, there it is, that's what it looks like. It's in, perfect. I'm getting it. Oh, I need more glass. Hopefully I don't need to go run down and get more glass. That would be annoying and time consuming. So I'm still using the same, uh, I'm still using the same plots modeler as I was before. If you haven't seen the last video, uh, go check that out because it's going to have the, how I start the base and it's going to have a whole like five minute section in there where I totally messed up and put the put the thing on the wrong layer which I probably should have edited out but you know whatever we're, we're just hanging out here all right uh well that layer is done and the next layer up ooh we're getting pretty darn close to the end of the we're getting pretty darn close to the end here this one I only actually have to do this once because it's all uh I'm gonna break my axe nope not yet all the rest of it is attached to the uh, to the deal, so I can do one on each side, and then there's like a square here, and this is where we're gonna start seeing like doubled up stuff because it's uh, getting pretty close to, and then it's the square. Is that? No, that's not right. That's not right. It's uh, no. This one doesn't need to be there. I think. Yeah. Hold on. Let me check this. It's that, and then that's where the square is. Yep. Okay. Perfect. See, look. I see. Even I'm making mistakes. This is why <laughs> I've had a lot of people ask if I think if if uh, if they could help me build this stuff in here, and I'm like. I don't know if I trust anyone else to build this correctly because half the time I don't even trust myself to build this correctly, as evident by this video, where I I have a, I I literally have a map here of how I'm supposed to lay these things out, and I still don't do it right half the time. Oh, there we go, and this layer is done. Oh, and what else we got? Ooh, here we go. We're we're nearing the. Uh, we're nearing the end here, and this one's gonna have two in, and we're gonna break this. Cool. And I need to get, I need to pull out some more glass. Perfect. And it's uh, a three section in the middle here, and then that. That, yeah, is that right? I hope that's right. And then it's a three section, wait, 
That doesn't look right. No, it's a two section. Oh. Nope, nope. So it's that. Sometimes it's really hard for me to pay it to. Okay. Let me look at this from a top. It's one, two, one, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, one, two, three. Okay, yeah. So that's what that's what it looks like. Perfect. There. 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 And there. Yeah, that's what I want. Perfect. Oh, let's get some air. And then... Yeah, I'm going to finish this up. Pretty, oh, come on, seriously? Great, wonderful. So the next the next one is where the cool stuff starts happening because I get the, uh, yeah, this one I don't even need to, I don't even need to look at the thing for this because this is the last, last one. I need some of these, some of those. I do need to add that there. And that is going to be the basis for I'm just gonna fill this all in here and that because the the edge of this one is all gonna be the clay so that it has the uh, that that circle on top like the rest of these do so it's gonna be like that there we go because this is the same, this is the same, oh crap. This is the same design as the, as the, the doorway rooms. But they, uh, they're a little different because it's the full circle thing instead of just the one piece. There we go. And then I'm gonna drop inside for the last one. And then, boink, look at that. The dome is finished. So now, I just need to drain out the water. So, first off, uh, I need my sponges. And how much time have we got? What, what are we looking at here? Um, oh, 12 minutes? Okay, this is short. So then, we're going to want to drain this middle piece here first. Oh, that did not work. Okay. There we go. Now we have this, uh, now we have an open spot at the top. Um, there is no super easy way to do this. There's a couple of, uh, there's a couple of ways you can do it. And there's the way that I, I do it the lazy way. And I just have those, I have a furnace down there that always has stuff running on it. So I usually have, uh, I usually just have like the furnace running with the, with the, with the sponges continuously getting dry. Actually, I'm probably going to do that. I'm going to grab one of those furnaces and bring it up here just so that I can... Uh... Oh, I did break that last... I did break that pickaxe. I'm going to bring one of those furnaces up here with some of my... some of my, uh, f my fuel so that I can dry them out as I go. Uh, let's grab my... Grab this. Oh! Had glass in it. Oops. Oh well. Uh, actually, I can put all this stuff in here for now because I'm not going to need it. But I should take some of these because there is another way. I should keep these because there's another way that you can uh, drain out a room. I'm going to take the lava buckets. There we go. And that's basically by, uh, instead of, I'll show you the two different ways I do it. First off, um, I've said that like 10 times now. I need to, I need to stop, stop repeating myself. Let's throw this guy just right here for now and let's show you how this does how this does so one thing you can do is you can literally just like plop these across like this and it'll dry out some of the space here and then you can uh, just do that over and over again but the thing is it does waste some of the it does waste some of the um, some of the some of the sponge because as the if you don't do it fast enough it's just gonna fill right back in so the other way to do it that you can do is you can section off areas in the did I drop one nope you can section off areas in the room 
with uh, a building material of some kind so that when you put sponge there, the rest of the room doesn't flood in around it. it it's a little more... I don't know if it's more time-consuming, but it's a little more uh, thought... There's a little bit more of a process to it. So, like, instead of, um... Here, I'll just, I'll just show you first off. So, I'll, I'll clear off this and throw those, uh... So, yeah. So, then, like, I have all that cleared out, but I can... For example, you can build up... Oh, I don't know if I want to do that. It's... Um, actually, I'll do it here in the center. So you build up a little area like this. And then you just, like, do it up all the way to the top. And this would be, like, sectioning out the entire area to do this. And then you can, you know, individually finish each... Individually finish each little section out separately. But... I, I'm too too lazy to do that because it's because then you have to break all this stuff down after you're done and I get too bored doing that so I mean yeah whatever so what I just do is I just do um <laughs> what was it I was uh, I was doing this in the big room down there I was just doing like the one row technique that I was doing just now and I did that all the way through the entire room without uh, before I even did any anything else just right down through the center and <laughs> My fiance came in and said it looks like you're parting the Red Sea here, and I thought that was pretty funny I, d I don't know if that's actually funny, but it, it felt funny to me All right, so we're gonna do that And because it's the way that I most most usually do it anyway. So then you just go all the way across like this and then, yeah, it gives you this interesting little, uh, <laughs> this interesting little, um, I don't know what you want to call it. It's like a, a, a hole in the, there we go. And then I can do it one more time here. Oh, I need to be, yeah, there we go. And look at that. This is what I was talking about. It's like the Red Sea. Just splitting splitting the Red Sea. Um, yep, and then I have to collect all of this. And then I can put some of that... Uh, I need to put some of this wet, wet sponges in here so they dry out. Or you could just buy a bunch of... A bunch more sponges. Either way, it doesn't really matter. But... Me, I like to be conservative with my money, which is why I have 12 or 1.2 million, and I don't, never, I never buy anything with it rarely. And if I do, it's something that I know I'm gonna use that I can't get very easily, or if it's something that I can just like go resell at the shop or something for a little bit more expensive than what they're selling it for, because I am like to be frugal like that for some reason. All right, and then I can, you can do this the same way across the other uh, across the other way so then like across that way and then just like clear out the corners and stuff all right let's throw those guys in there take these oh we're at 19 minutes yeah so I'm gonna I'm gonna clear this out and then I think I'm gonna I'm gonna finish the rest of this finish draining the rest of this in my off time I mean that you get the basic gist of how to clear out one of these rooms. Um, so there's a couple ways to do it, but this is the way that I choose. It may not be the most efficient, but just like my farm, I don't really care that much about efficiency as much as I do, you know, ease of ease of use. So uh, yeah, that's that's how I make one of these rooms, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna add some lightings lights to the floor in here after it's done. Cause they usually do it a couple a couple in from the edge and then one in the middle maybe and then uh, we'll see how that goes and I'll have a new room if there's uh, if there's a, if you guys have any ideas what I should do with this room and what what this room should be when it's done please co post them in the comment section below and again if you want to be put on the the subscriber wall stairway thing post post uh, what name you'd like to be put up on that wall in the comment section below and I'll definitely put it up there 
good night, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye!